Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva and I wanted to talk to you about templates because these are super, super helpful. So if you have Diva, you probably already know that we have all these different modules that we can swap in between. So the charm is we can have Moog oscillators and we can run those through an MS-20 filter, different revisions, so on and so forth, and change out our envelopes, things like that. So it's kind of a modular design in the sense that we can swap out our oscillators, our filters, our envelopes, and things like that, which makes Diva so special. Now the cool part, so if we go to an init preset, then this basically starts out like a Moog, right? We have our oscillators, the, the mixer here, our filter and our envelopes. Now, the very helpful part is, for example, if we go down here to presets, and then if you don't know this templates folder down over here, so here, <laughs> ignore that I saved one of my presets in there, that's super bad, but we're gonna overlook that today. However, we have a lot of these inits here. Now, for example, let's say you're like, okay, I want to start off Diva as a Juno 60, and then you click this guy, you go back to your main, and it sets up the oscillators and the filters and the envelopes as that preset, as that Juno 60, which is really cool. So now we have this. And if we want like a typical Juno patch, right, bring down our cutoff, resonance pretty high up there. Let me bring up some of our releases here. That's a little too much. They bring in the sub. Some chorus. Maybe some delay. And then maybe we could even just route this to some reverb. Because the charm with Diva is you have so many different components from different synthesizers in one plugin, which sounds fantastic. And now using these templates, we can just say, okay, for this sound, I want a Juno. And then you just load up this preset and you kind of already have that set up for you as an init preset. And then you can kind of go from there. And maybe if you get a little bit nitpicky, you can maybe swap out some things like the envelopes or something like that. So let's check out a couple more of these. Let's unwrap that from our reverb. So let's go back to init preset and then let's check out some of these. So we have the, the mini Moog. Now we have two different versions. So we have the mini mono, which is obviously mono. So if you want kind of a mono sound, then definitely go for that guy. If you want the poly, then obviously mono poly. There's the Mongrels 1 and 2, the MS-20, Revision 1 and 2, which is really cool as well. So Revision 1 we have here, and then we kind of switch these two, and we can kind of see that it's just switching this revision here a little bit different of the output as well. Let's go back to that one here. And also it's doing the revision here on the high pass as well. So it's kind of cool because it changes... It's kind of like you have two MS-20s set up for you, which is very interesting. And I love this filter, by the way. <laughs> you get that cool uh, effect there with some peak. God, I love that sound. Okay, so back to our init preset here as well. So we can go back to these as, as well and just kind of pick through these as a good starting point. And again, we can go to the Jupiter 8 if you kind of want that sound as well. <laughs> So 
nice ethereal and buttery and smooth. Or if you just want to go back to the knit preset, you can do that. And then obviously you can go to any one of these, but yeah, highly recommend you check some of those out because I know it's cool. We have all these modules and sometimes you're like, okay, which one is which, how do we set it up this way? So check out the templates as a super cool way to start off with a certain synthesizer. And what's fun as well is uh, for us synth collectors out there, I'm sure we have a couple different versions of a Jupiter or a Juno or uh, maybe we have different versions of a Moog out there. And it's kind of cool to load up these different templates and then load up a different version or a different emulation of a Juno, Jupiter, whatever it is, and kind of just compare those two and kind of see how they sound. And you can really see the charm and the detail of, of Diva and why the synthesizer is so loved. And yes, it's high on CPU. And if you don't know this already, for the love of God, hit multi-core. <laughs> if you have a lot of CPU usage, it definitely helps out quite a bit. So yeah, that was kind of the point of this video. Check out the templates, use them to your advantage to kind of why they're there. And yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.